So there are two things that influence how we delete, distort, and generalize. And we need to understand what these two things are, because if we can change them, then our experience, our world, um, the way we look at life changes. You know, the minute you change your perspective on something, the moment you look at something differently, what you look at changes. Um, I can take a number nine, turn it upside down, it becomes a six. I can turn it sideways, it becomes a comma. I can turn it the other way, it becomes a hyphen. Everything that we give meaning to, if we look at it slightly differently, then whatever meaning we attach to it can alter. Yep. So if we can alter deletion, distortion, visualization, we might just find ourselves living differently. Um, so what are the two things? Well, the first thing is your emotions. Yeah, but you're not emotional, eh? Yes, you are. Um, we are always emotional. Human beings are emotional beings, and we always, always, even when we sleep, we have emotions that are functioning. Even, come on, who's had a dream? I remember not a, not a long, a, long, a couple of years ago, I had a dream. My wife cheated on me. Uh, it was just a dream. I just dreamt. I wake up the next morning. I was like angry. I kicked out of the bed. I dare you. I was like sitting on my rock for two days, sulking about it. It was like horrible. Um, we are emotional beings. We do have emotions. You know, when someone says, no, I'm not emotional, I control my emotions. No, you're not. You're just suppressing them a little bit and you put them into a box. But they are still functioning. They are still functioning. And they influence us hugely. We are influenced through our emotions. There are days when you're in a fantastic mood. You feel empowered. You're top of the world. Someone gives you insult and you go, ah, whatever. It just does not affect you. There are other days when you're in a opposite of good mood. You're in just a crappy mood. You're feeling vulnerable. You're a little bit sensitive. Someone gives you a compliment. You hear it as an insult and you respond emotionally. Hello? It's not just when we buy things. It's in the everyday type of thing. If you have a belief system that tells you the culture I come from, the family I come from, are strugglers. No one in my family has ever been extremely successful. That blueprint of thought pattern is ingrained in your mind. That influences your state. When opportunity very often comes a knocking, your state rejects it. It's not probably a scam. It's not going to work for me. You know, these people, they're so lucky. They're born with a spoon in their back. I mean, the golden spoon. And I'm not, uh, my spoon came out the wrong place. I don't know. It's a broken wooden one. Um, this is not for me. And your emotional state decide to reject or to grab things. Uh, we are state driven. So rule number one, we need to learn how to allow states that serve us and how to replace states that don't serve us. There's no good state or bad state. States are not right and they are not wrong. All states will exist and all states need to exist for the human brain to comprehend other states. In other words, you need to be able to understand what sadness feels like for you to understand and comprehend what joy feels like. You need to have sometimes uh, your heart broken to truly appreciate love. You need to be thirsty to appreciate water. You need to be hungry to appreciate food. Most states, most concepts that the human brain comprehends, grasps, understands, exists in duality. It can only understand up if it understands down. It understands light if it understands dark. It understands in if it understands out. It understands love if it understands rejection. It understands joy if it understands disgust. It understands anxiety when it understands bliss. It understands depression when it understands extreme happiness and joy. It needs both to comprehend the other. Does that make sense? So when a state enters you, when you go into a state, it's not a good state or a bad state. The question is, does this state serve me? It always serves you because it gives you the opposite. But 
Do you want to entertain it? Do you want it to hang around? States that influence us negatively are aggressive states, angry states, sad states, depressed states, anxiety states, fear states. These things are natural. We all have them. But what people do is they get fixated on these states and they feed these states unknowingly. So I'll give you an example. Fear. And I mentioned this earlier, you know, public speaking, a lot of people have got a fear for public speaking. Who's got a fear? You've got to stand in front of a thousand people and talk. Who gets a bit nervous and anxiety and fear and everything else? Right. It's one of the greatest fears in the world. But do you know that the greatest public speakers in the world also have the same fear? That fear exists in every single human. I have it. This morning, I had to come onto a platform. There's 27 people in this room. Okay, it includes two of me because I've got two platforms here. 25 people in this room that I've never met before. I don't know who you are. What? Do you think there was no nerves? Oh, I wonder if these people are going to like me. I wonder if it's going to be okay. I wonder if they're going to shout. I wonder. I wonder. Of course, it's natural. What's the difference? What do you entertain? So I had two choices. Number one is the one is, is it going to be okay? The second one is, ha, oh, opportunity to share my passion, opportunity to share my knowledge and my experience, opportunity to transform, opportunity to meet a gloriously beautiful, amazing new creatures that I've never met before, opportunity to communicate, to connect, to make friends, to allow people to make friends with themselves. Which one of those two states do I focus on and do I entertain? That's the one that starts to control what I delete, what I distort, and what I generalize. You see, my state is, this is a phenomenal opportunity to teach. So what is my state doing? My state is deleting a lot of stuff, but allowing me to notice when someone goes, oh. aha. My state allows me to notice when people are seeing new thoughts, having epiphanies. Now that feeds what? That feeds the positive part of my state. Now I get enthusiastic. Now I want to do more of it. Now it becomes fun and enjoyment, yes? If my state was, I wonder if these people are gonna enjoy it. I wonder if they're gonna like it. What would have happened is my focus would have been on wondering if you're gonna enjoy it. I would not have noticed the smiles. I would have noticed the blank looks and going, I don't think they're getting it. It would have altered the way I delete, distort, and generalize. You guys hearing me? Please, please, please. This is a critical thing. This is a massive concept. Your state determines where your focus goes. I, I used to race motorbikes, and one of the golden rules in racing a motorbike around a track is your bike goes where you look. So I want to take that, I want to reframe it. Your life goes where your state focuses. If you're in a really, 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 really bad mood, do you make good decisions? <laughs> you know what the weirdest thing is? If you're in a very, very, very ecstatic, good, great, fantastic mood, do you make good decisions? No. It's your state impacts and influences the types of decisions you make. We need to get into a state, what I call a state of congruence. That's a controlled state. We are emotional state driven. Our reactions, responses, choices, and decisions are state dependent. When ladies, when you go into a shop and you want to buy a piece of clothing, part of your buying decisions are based on the emotional state that you believe wearing that clothing will give you. Gentlemen, when you go buy a car, a lot of your decisions is based, what are you going to feel like if people see you driving that car, that motor vehicle? Come on now. We are state-driven beings. Visit actionfactory.co.za to find out more. Change your mind. Change your mind.